Hi y'all. I'm making a quick video. I'm planning on making soup for lunch. And everything that you see in front of you basically is all of my leftovers. This is stuff that we had from last night. So I'm going to make a soup out of it. Soups are great. They're healthy. And they're easy to make. So I decided I'm going to try to do a soup section where I'm going to make different soups. So this is the first of the, well, it's really not the first, but here's one of the soup from some of the leftovers that I'm planning on making. We had eaten pork chops, and basically we ate all the meat that's in it. There's no more meat really in it. These are the bones, and I, the way I had basically made it is, you know, the pork chops, and then I had put a little flour in it so it's thick. And we basically gutted it, so there's nothing really left in there anymore. But it looks like this is stuff that could be thrown away, but this is actually a lot of great flavor, so I'm planning on using it. I'm going to use the leftover pork chops. We had mixed vegetables. I made extra because I knew I wanted to make soup out of it. So there's mixed vegetables. And then this is what we had left over from the navy beans that I had cooked. I had a pound, or not a pound, but I had basically did um, one quart of, which is basically four cups of beans. And that's what I have left. Oh, you can't see it really. There we go. Not very much. Not very much at all. See? But I'm going to scrape it, put it all in there, and then what I'm going to use to get all the stuff off is I'm, I have two quarts that I'm planning on using. And what they are is turkey stock. So I'm going to use both of these, which is basically um, eight cups, because I'm going to be using two quarts. For every quart, it's four cups. So I'm going to go ahead and use this, and I'm going to just put it all together, and we're going to create a soup. Basically a leftover soup. What I had is a separator here. And I'll just let you see all that I'm doing. And I want to keep all this because this is all good flavor. I'm going to put this in the sink. There we go. Take this out. And then down here, those are the bones or whatnot. But here, I'm going to go ahead and scrape the bottom. It's not burned. Breaking it all up. And I could actually do this on the stove. Just let it cook and it would do it. But I'm just letting you see what it looks like. It really looks like leftovers. But this is all good stuff. This is all good flavor. It's going to be good soup. And this is all leftovers. And what I'm doing is I'm creating this in advance. I'm putting the food up. This is what we just finished basically eating. And it's all cooled down. I'm just going to put it all together. Now I'm going to get this. The last of the navy beans. And put this in as well. And because there's no meat in it, and my family, remember everything is always optional, I'm planning on putting some chicken breasts in it. Some canned. What I've noticed as far as canned chicken, or for a lot of canned foods, not canned foods, but for canned meats. A lot of times it goes, at least for what I've noticed, chicken, definitely, it goes really well with soups. The taste is very good and you can taste it. Um, it doesn't have a, a, a canny taste. And now I'm going to go ahead and put in the mixed vegetables. I'm going to go ahead and put some in there as well. And this basically is half a cup. The ladle, so I'm going to put there is half a cup. I don't know what that is. So one cup. And why not? I'm putting another cup in. I'm debating if I should just put the whole thing in. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and put the whole thing in. Why not? Again, it's do you do what you want. I'm just going to put it all in. And again, you definitely can make this fresh. But I'm to make it quick, I'm just using all the stuff that I had made from dinner. And I'm putting it all together. And I already put flour in it from before. And I could have took the bones out, but the bones give good flavor because I'm going to let it cook for like 15 minutes. So all the flavors can infuse together. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up my open up my jars. And you could have a, a an opener, but you can use basically anything, a ram, anything. You just need to open it, and I'll let you hear it. Perfect. 
perfect. Put that in. And then let me give it a stir so I can make sure that I want to open it. See if I want to not open up the other one. This is actually pretty good. I could leave it like this. But I like for us to be able to get more broth. So I think I'm still going to open this one up. And I may just put half of it in. It's, again, it's just what you want. If you want it to be more of a thick soup, then you could leave it like that. Or you can even put less of it in. But I like to be able to get full on liquid. So I'll put that in. I went ahead and put the whole thing in. There we go. And the next what I'm going to go ahead and do is get some chicken. And I'm going to put that in. And then after it's done cooking, that's when I'm going to go ahead and take out all the bones and stuff. But it smells good. It smells very good. Because again, all this is, is all this food is already cooked. It's all done. So let me get the chicken. We're going to open that up and we're going to put it on in. What I grabbed is some pork. While I was downstairs and I was getting my the canning stuff, but I was, I was getting some chicken. I was thinking, hmm, why would I be doing chicken if it should be pork? What you see right here is the pork. What you see here up top is actually the grease. So you could use that for cooking. I'm going to go ahead and put it aside. And I'm smelling it. Mmm, smells very good. But here it is. I'm going to put it in a container so you can be able to see what the pork looks like. Okay. So here's the pork. This is the juices. And when I cook my pork, I never cook it. I cook it raw. So that I won't be cooking it more than twice. Because when you keep it in there, you cook it for 75 minutes. Because I did it in a pint. So I don't want to be cooking it more than one time. But here it is. And I didn't chop it up or anything. I just put it straight in. But here it is here. It looks very good and it smells very good. Now it's all on taste. For me, I like the the meat really needs to cook for longer for the um, which is why for me the chicken does better in soups. But for the pork, I don't know. I just love pork, but it really goes good with it. And remember, what you can is what you get. So here's a little bit of fat. I missed that, so I'll go ahead and take that off. Put that there, and I'll throw that part away. I could have kept it in there, but I don't want my family eating fat. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is put it in my soup. Let me move it over so you can see it. Here's the soup, and I'm just going to put in the broth and everything. And just put it in. Now, we are meat eaters. I've been trying to cut back more and more on the meat. I've been trying to cut back more and more on it. This is some of the bottom part. That's going to cook down. I can get it. I'm going to take the bones out. And I'll get out whatever I don't want it. I'll take it out when it's done. But I want it to get all the flavors. But this is what it looks like so far. We got the mixed vegetables. The meat's all in here. This is going to be good flavor. I'm not going to cook it right now because it's not lunch time. Lunch time isn't going to be for a couple of hours, but I just wanted to have it ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it in a container, put it in the refrigerator, and then when it's time for me to cook it, all I'll have to do is just heat it up. I can even put it in some mason jars um, and have them readily available to cook, but I'm not going to do that because my whole family will end up eating this for lunch. I have a pretty big family. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in a container, and I'll let you see.